What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a live axle on a go-kart. This is my go-kart over here. So over the past couple of days, I had some axle problems. So I had to redo the axle. So instead of just doing it off camera, I decided to just make a video of it to show you guys and to help out some of you. So here is everything you're going to need for this live axle kit. You're going to need two tires. You're going to need your sprocket, your brake hub, these are some of the tools. You're going to need your allen keys, you're going to need some bolts, your keyways, your lock collars, your bearings, and obviously your axle. This axle is 36 inches and everything here is 5 8 diameter. The lock collars, sprocket, the brake, the tires, everything is 5 8 And now let's start putting this on. Step one is to take the axle out of its packaging. So once you have your axle out of the package, go and insert it through these pillow block bearings. What I like to do is have the open end of the bearing facing outwards on both sides. And then just insert your axle and then we can move on. It's in from this side. Now I'm just going to put it in from this side. It's a little tight because it's new. But other than that, it's working fine. Yeah, this one's a little easier. Just to make everything a little bit more easier, I brought a few bricks and just put this axle over the bricks. And now we got our sprocket on. Once you have your bearings on, the next thing you're going to want to install are these two collars. These two collars come with the bearing and they have the screw in them. And that screw holds the bearing from sliding on the axle. So just grab two and put on either side. You don't need to tighten them on right now because you're gonna have to figure that out once you put this on the go-kart. Same thing with the other one. Just connect it onto the axle. All right guys, so along with those two black lock collars, I added these two silver ones on both sides and that will also help the axle stay in place and not move at all. These two are extremely important Otherwise, the axle will be shifting while you're driving and that's not, well, that's not good at all. So make sure you have these lock collars. The other thing I might do now is add a third lock collar on this side and that will space the sprocket and hold the sprocket from moving when we're driving. So lock collars are actually really important and you need them basically everywhere where you're going to add something. So I'm going to take this lock collar and put it on. Now we're going to have to slide the sprocket here and then put the final lock collar on this side. So now I got this lock collar on, we're going to have to slide the sprocket on and then after that get that last lock collar and then we'll slide it on. So let's do a sprocket first. The sprocket goes on the left side because that's where my shaft of the engine is. So let's do this. Okay, this is on pretty nicely. Now add the final lock collar and we're done with the sprocket. Last lock collar, and we're done with the sprocket. Now on this side, we have the brake drum. This is a brake drum. There's the brake band, and then there's a weld on hub, which I welded together, and that's our brake. Everything here is basically from Prince's Auto, except for the bolts and the tooling, but the axle, the pillow blocks, the lock collar, the sprocket, the brake hubs, both of the tires is all from Prince's Auto. So if you guys are wondering where I got them from, there you go. Time for the brake drum. And that's on. Now the next thing we have to do is connect both the wheels on and we're going to install the keyways now. So let's just get both the wheels. This wheel's on. Then just right, get the second wheel. And that's our second wheel. So I got, so I have both of the wheels connected on. Now it's just time to do the keyways. This small keyway you see here is meant for the sprocket. So just put it in the slot. And then you can just slide it through. 
So once you've got that one in, just install the one on this wheel, and then I need to install the one on this brake. And then we're good to go and install this live axle onto the go-kart. The next thing you're going to want to do is get your washers and put them on each bolt. Just like this. They're three inches long. On your taker bolts and put them right through this. Just like that. And now line up your pillar block bearings and just install them and use those nuts over there and screw them on using your using this tool use the 916 socket and that will work fine for you so basically guys that concludes our live axle we got the axle we got the wheels we've got the brake we've got the engine we have the other two bearings we have the chain we have the sprocket we have the clutch we have the tire we have the you have everything basically here. All the hardware is connected. And yeah, that's how you guys connect that live axle kit. So this is basically my live axle go-kart. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week.